Hello, my name is Jose Gomez, DevOps Solution Architect at Nutanix. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Nutanix Calm and Ansible. Part 3 show you how to deploy a multi machine application. If you missed the previous part, you can find the links in the video description. Let's get started. In the previous video, we saw how to deploy a single VM application. This time, we are going to do the deployment of a multi-machine application where we will use three virtual servers. We are going to see how to deploy HashiCorp console. I have used this Ansible role from Brian uh, Shumate and this application requires at least three servers. Let's see the examples. You can see that in the example that's going to use the console instances and for console instances this role is using as a test three instances. What I have done, I have cloned or forked this repo because I need to have the, the role and the changes done with the playbook. If you see, you can find the repo here. I have just moved around the role that I fork and create a folder called roles, Ansible console. And then I move out the site.yaml and I made a change on the site.yaml to run on all the host. Because as you can remember from the previous video, we are using a limit or a filter in our API called to Ansible. Let's create the project in Ansible AWX. Let's go to projects. Let's create a new project. I'm going to call the project console demo. SCM type git copy the URL for this repo enable update revision on launch and click save. If you scroll down, you will see that now it's refreshing with the content from the repo. The next thing to do is to create a job template. Click templates. New job template. The name to use for this template in my case will be install console. The inventory the con inventory that we have from the previous parts the project that we just created console demo the playbook site.yaml the con credential prompt on launch for limit and enable privilege escalation, concurrent jobs, and extra variables. Click Save. As you may recall, we will need the template ID, in this case, 16. We have configured already AWX. The next step is to download the blueprint from the GitHub repo and import that blueprint into our Calm instance. You can find the blueprint on the repo named Nutanix Calm AWX demo. Nutanix Calm Blueprint Calm Ansible Console 
row and let's save. Now let's move to Khan. Upload blueprint or console blueprint and let's give a name the project and upload. As you may remember from previous video, we will need to complete credentials. Click on credentials. The credential for Ansible to connect to the virtual machines. The credential for AWX. And click save. There is another value to update the template ID. You need to make sure you update the values with your values from the AWX instance. As you can see now, we have two services. The application itself is console, but we have two services. The console bootstrap virtual machine and the console servers. This Ansible role required to define at least one bootstrap virtual machine. If we expand console bootstrap, we can see the different actions at host, host to group, delete host, and run playbook. In this new version, I have updated the host to group. Now, when you add new groups, they will be automatically created in Ansible if they don't exist. Also, any category you add to the virtual machines, or in this case the services, they will get added as a group as well in Ansible AWX. As an example, let's click on one of the services, Bootstrap, VM, move to categories, and here we can select for example, application, family, and DevOps, as well as for the other server, VM, scroll down, and in categories, application, family, DevOps. Click Save. And something else to see that we have changed on this case, if you click on one of the services and you move to the service tab, you will see that now we have host variables. This is a new functionality from this blueprint. When you add a new host into Ansible AWX, now you can define variables for that host. You can see that this host, the service console bootstrap, will have the variable console node role bootstrap. And if we click on console server, and we have a look to the same variable, in this case, the value is server. Let's launch this blueprint. We need to provide an application name as usual. Demo Ansible console. You can see that automatically the name of the application has been populated on the extra bars. On this way, we are going to do the filter or the limit in Ansible AWX to make sure that this blueprint only is executed with the virtual machines that are deployed. Let's click Create. You can see that now the host start to be created. We have already the three host groups. The groups have been created as well. You can see the environment dev, the application family DevOps, both groups, we added them in the blueprint. The rest of the uh, groups that you can see here, they are added by con for tracking purposes. 
if we click host we are getting the groups as well associated with the host let's refresh again for the next host now all the groups has been assigned to the host the next step will be to launch the playbook let's go to jobs we can see that there is one job running let's click and let's check the deployment state As you can see, the limit here, it's running only for the application name that we gave during the launch. Extra variables. So console is going to listen on the quad zero IP address rather than the loopback. And also we are controlling what's the group that we need to run the installation. Console is starting now. This will take a few seconds. Then we will go back to con and we will open the application from con. The deployment has finished. Let's check con. If we expand and we check the run playbook that has been already finished as well, job successful, and the deployment has finished. Let's give a few seconds until the state change from provisioning to running. Now let's click overview. And here we have a link for our console application. Right click, open a new tab. You can see that now we have running a console application that it's deployed across three nodes and is fully functional. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.